Hi friends, my name is Fernando Gupta. So in this video, let us discuss about physiology of termites. So normally termites are called as white ants. Coming to the scientific classification of termites, it belongs to the kingdom Animaria. It belongs to the phylum Euarthropoda. It belongs to class Insecta. As it is insect, it belongs to the class Insect. And subclass is Terrigota. Here P is silent. Coming to the order Blattodia. Coming to the suborder Isoptera. Here P will be silent. You should pronounce it as Isoptera. So this is the structure of or uh, this is a diagram of uh, termites, white ants. That's nothing good. And this white ants is similarly to you know, the structure of this white ants is very similar to ants, normal ants. So normally this is a white ant. And here this is the head part. This is the abdomen part. And within the head part, there is a presence of compound eyes. This black color one which I have drawn and known as compound eyes. And here there is a presence of mandibles. You know, in mandibles, normally in cockroaches also you can see these mandibles. If you learn the both structures of the cockroach, then you can find these mandibles. And here the mandibles are nothing but jaw, which helps in the collection of food. Next, here is a thorax region. And normally there is a division in this thorax region. There are prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So the first one is prothorax, second is mesothorax and the third is metathorax. If you see there. And the legs which has been erased from the prothorax are known as prothoracic legs. So this is the prothoracic legs. Now so totally how many pairs of legs are there on the in the in this white ant? Totally there are three pairs of legs. There is nothing but totally there will be presence of six legs which has been erased from the thorax region. Right? So I have said that the thorax will be divided as three parts, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So the legs, that is nothing but one pair of the legs which has been erased from the prothorax region. That is nothing but the first region of the thorax are known as prothoracic legs. And the legs which has been erased, the pair of legs which has been erased from the mesothorax region. That is nothing but the second region of the thorax is known as mesothoracic legs. Coming to the metathoracic legs, oh, what are the metathoracic legs? The legs which has been erased from the third region of the thorax. There is nothing but metathorax of the region of thorax is known as metathoracic legs. So this is the abdomen region and this is the thorax. This is the head head region and here consists of compound eyes and here also the presence of antenna. So this is about the structure uh, and the diagram of the termite. So now let us see about the introduction on this termite. So coming to the introduction part, normally these termites they feed on dead plant material, cellulose, leaf litter and on soil. So it is called as detritivores. Why it is known as detritivores? Because uh, no, normally what is the meaning of these detritivores? Detritivores are nothing but the insect which feeds upon the dead decaying material that is nothing but which consists of nitrogenous waste are known as detritivores. In the same way it is known as detritivores. This is because it depends upon the or else it feeds upon the dead plant material. Dead plant material. It feeds only upon the dead material and it can and it also feeds upon the dead plant material and also in the dead animal specimens and also in the dead decay material of uh, humans which, which are present in the soil, right? Normally the human specimens will be present in the soil, right? And this uh, termites mainly feed upon the dead decaying material which consists of nitrogenous waste. And next, these termites can be seen in tropical and subtropical region and they live in termite colonies for example if you see in the case of honeybees honeybees uh, normally in the honeybees there are queen bee, workers bee and also the soldiers bee and all of these bees are present in a term, uh, not present in their bees colonies but as here we are talking about termites these termites are present in the termites colonies okay so here if you see in the case of termites and within this termite colonies, there are it, it will be divided into castes. That is nothing but it will be divided into king, queen, workers, soldiers. So for each colony there will be only one king. For each colony there will be only one queen. But the workers and soldiers will be in numbers. So coming to the queen, so for coming to the king, the king is fertile male. And coming to the queen, the queen is fertile females. And here the size of the king, that is nothing but the size of the uh, male termite is smaller than when compared to the size of the fertile male females of termites. So coming to the workers, the what is the main function of these workers? Uh, workers is nothing but they feed upon the food material and they bring food material to this king, queen and also to the uh, 
termites which are present in the colonies. So coming to the soldiers, they help in the they help in the protection of the colonies. Okay. Uh, for example, if you see in this case, uh, termite colonies, it helps in the protection of attacking of another insects, and that protection will be taken by the soldiers, termite soldiers. So this king and queen helps in the ruling of these termite colonies, right? And next. Uh, normally, this termite call, is, termite call is nothing but, for example, if you see in the case of humans, uh, their, uh, their living is in home, right? In the same way, their living will be in termite colonies. The termites will live in termite colonies. In this way, we can say that. And next, coming to the size, the male size, male termite is 4 to 15 millimeters in length. And coming to the inches, it is 0.25 inches to 0 0.50 inches. And coming to the size of the female, it is 10 centimeters in length. That's nothing but it is 4 inches. It's 4 inches in length. And here by this you can see this. By, can, by this you can say that the size of the male is smaller than the female. So female is larger in size and the male is smaller in size. So now let us discuss about the body parts of the uh, termites and then let us discuss about the life cycle of the termites. So coming to the body parts of termites. And in these body parts of termites, let us discuss only about important parts like labium and mandibles, antennae, thorax and abdomen. So firstly, let us discuss about labium and mandibles, which I have drawn in the diagram, right? And coming to the labium and mandibles, what is the main function of this labium and mandibles? It helps in the sensing of food and handling of food. For example, if you say in the case of human beings, uh, these hands plays a major role in handling of food, right? In the same way, in the case of termites also, this labium and mandibles plays a major role in handling of food also in the sensing of food and these are present at the mouth part region of the termites coming to the second one antennae and there are a pair of antennae which are present at the mouth region of the uh, termites which I have drawn they are long leg structures and I have drawn there and the main function of this antenna is sensing of touch and taste of food they mainly helps in the sensing of the taste of food and also it controls the heat and vibration helps in the controlling of heat and vibration and normally this antenna will get divided into three parts they are scape, pedicel and flagellum and among these three pedicel is very small the scape region will be located at the first end point I mean there is nothing but a sharp point which is initial point it is set to be as initial point and flagellum is set to be as end point and the pedicel is located at the middle and it is very short in size when compared to the scape Coming to the thorax region, before only I have said in the diagram, the thorax is divided into three parts, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax and the prothorax, uh, normally each, from the, each of the thorax region the legs will be arised. So normally how many legs will be present in these termites? Totally three pairs of legs. There is nothing but totally six legs are present in these termites. So each pair of the leg, there is nothing but two legs on either side, two legs on either side. If you see my pre, if you see this preview, uh, you can, you could understand. For example, if you take one thorax, from the one thorax, two legs will be arised on the either side. So, so we can say that one pair of leg will be arised from each thorax. So, one pair of leg will be arised from the prothorax, another pair of legs will be arised from mesothorax, and another pair of legs will be arised from the metathorax. So, the legs which will be arised from the prothorax region are known as prothoracic legs, and the legs which will be arised from the mesothorax region are known as mesothoracic legs. And coming to the Third one, metathorax legs. The legs which will be arranged from this region, metathorax region, are known as metathoracic legs. And all of these uh, legs has been arranged from only the thorax region only, but not from the other body parts. Coming to this, uh, mesothorax and metathoracic legs. These both legs consist of wings. These both legs consist of wings, and it also consists of exoskeletal plate. And that exoskeletal plate is very small in size. Coming to the fourth one, abdomen. Normally there are 10 segments, 10 abdominal segments which you can see in termites and that abdomen region consists of two plates they are tergites and another one is termites Coming to the next one uh, in the 10th pair of abdomen you can see circa Circa is nothing but it is uh, one of the body parts which is present at the end of the uh, abdomen region that is nothing but at the end of the body body part of the termite also and what is the main function of the circa is it helps in process of copulation that is nothing but it helps in exhibition of sex so now let us see the life cycle of these termites so coming to the life cycle before entering into the life cycle you have to know one point that is nothing but the male termites are haploid in nature which has been developed from unfertilized eggs and the female termites are diploid in nature which has been developed from the fertilized eggs and you people know about haploid and diploid right? haploid is nothing but it consists of single set of unpaired chromosomes 
complete is diploid consists of paired chromosomes and that chromosome will be obtained from the parents we are learning from the intermediate class well, right coming to the life cycle each and every life cycle of insects will be developed from the eggs itself so this eggs undergoes incomplete metamorphosis process so what is mean by this incomplete metamorphosis this is very important listen properly so this incomplete metamorphosis process has three stages this is egg initial stage nymph intermediate stage adult final stage so now let us discuss about these three stages so coming to the egg stage i have said you each and every stage is each and every life cycle of stages begins from the eggs so this eggs undergoes four moultings so what is mean by moulting moulting is nothing but development so this egg undergoes four moultings and after the completion of this moultings of egg it enters into the next stage that is nothing but nymph and this nymph undergoes three moultings and this is very very important to remember nymph it undergoes three moultings so within the three moultings uh, three types of you know three types of uh, termites will be arised so coming to the first molding after the first molding workers will be formed after the second molding soldiers will be formed after the third molding it forms a lead all of these three comes under termites only but first molding second molding third molding takes place where in each of the molding different types of termites will be arised so workers is one of the type of termite soldiers is one of the type of termite and elect is one of the type of termite right so three types of termite will be arised in each of the Uh, molting which occurs in the nymph stage and next this third molting is the last stage right so what will be formed in the last stage elet will be formed elet will be formed so this elet there is nothing but after the last molting of this nymph which mainly forms elet this elet undergoes next molting special molting or else it undergoes several moltings and mainly forms adult and this molting process takes place uh, within several months why it takes place several months because uh, it because it doesn't has ability to develop fast and normally depending upon the temperature depending upon the nature upon this uh, upon, upon the environment then only it takes several months or else it takes uh, normal or uh, within the 30 to 15 days only the it, it enters into the other stage but in some cases when the temperature is low or high then when, when the temperature is not stable then the alert takes much time to enter into other stage that is nothing but i have written here several months it takes place several months only when the temperature is not stable so coming to the next this adult one after uh, no not totally this incomplete metamorphosis process has been completed so after the completion of this intermetamorphosis process then what happens finally this x from the x adult one will get developed right finally adult one will get developed and this adult two, after the completion of this adult stage then what happens it enters into the aging stage that is nothing but after aging process uh, it gets developed develop and develop more developing takes place in such a way that that process known as aging where after the during the process of aging some will die some will not die so the some will some will not die i have said you right and that undergoes a process of aging and after the aging that said to be as male and female and this male is considered as king and the females are considered as queen and this king and queen undergoes copulation and after the copulation this male leads to the formation of eggs and again the eggs undergoes incomplete metamorphosis process in such a way that incomplete metamorphosis undergoes three types of moltings and this moltings again forms workers soldiers alike and again adult will get developed and after that adults undergoes aging and during the process of aging some will die and some will not die and the termites which has been alive will undergoes aging process and that will develop as king and queen that is nothing but the male is said to be as king and the female is said to be as queen right and the king and queen termites undergoes copulation and again forms eggs and again the total life cycle will get repeated so this is the life cycle of the termite so now i'll show you now i'll show you the picture by this you can understand the life cycle of the termite and one more important thing i forgot to say you here is that in the after the third stage molting there is nothing but in the nymph stage after the third molting there is a formation of alert termite right and this alert termite is 
uh, can also act as king. There are some chances which acts as king. So as it acts as king, then the queen which has been formed over here undergoes copulation with king and mainly forms eggs and again the total life cycle will get repeated. Now it will get a little bit confusing for you. So I will show you the picture now. By this you can understand properly. So friends see here this is a life cycle of termite and if you see here this is the elite king that is nothing but male one and here this is the queen termite that is nothing but female one and when this both undergoes copulation then it mainly leads to the formation of eggs and then this eggs will get developed into nymph which undergoes third copulation in the nymph stage right and this nymph forms workers and soldiers right and this workers and soldiers along with this workers and soldiers it also forms elite so i have already said you that this elite sometimes also acts as king and this king elite king and this queen undergoes copulation and again forms eggs right and this eggs will develop into nymph and in this nymph it undergoes again three copulations which forms soldiers workers and elite king right and this elite king again undergoes copulation with female one that is nothing but queen again forms eggs and again the total life cycle will begins so this is about the life cycle of the termites and by this you can also observe that this is the structure of the workers and this is the structure of soldiers this is eggs and this is nymph reproductive nymph elite king and queen termite so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box so we'll clarify your doubts